What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 back with yet another video, back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks presented by your boy Matrix21. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Check out my Twitter page at Matrix21 and my Etsy shop at TD Made It. Both the links are down below in the description. But enough of that, let's go, let's get to the kicks. So today we'll be taking a look at the Nike Dunk Low Reverse Panda. I don't know why they call them reverse panda because they got a different color on it, but hey, reverse pandas. So we start things off with a breakdown with the overall look of the sneaker, break, break it down, talk about materials and colors. Let's get right into it. Like I said, these are the reverse pandas. I'm not, I understand why they call it reverse pandas because the panels are changed. White and black are swapped from the regular pandas, but they throw this red on that, so I don't think it should be called the reverse pandas, but hey, it is what it is. Now let's get to the actual color names that are used in the sneaker. We have white. University red, black. Simple enough. You see what it is. You know what it is. Nothing crazy about that. And you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's a simple dunk low. So you know, the colors are simple as well. So here's a look at the sneaker. Like I said, you have the white and black panels, red swoosh, black, red tab on the back, white midsole, red outsole, or university red. Dope. Pretty cool. Simple. Like I said, but reverse panda. And eh, it would have been better. If you took the red off if you can call it a reverse panda but i do like these a lot i like them because like i said simple simple is the theme with this sneaker so definitely dope in this opinion my opinion on that black laces um i don't know there's not a whole lot going on this to talk about it is what it is you know what to expect from it materials are not crazy but you know black toe box black laces white tongue <clears throat> and i'm not sure if the, the, the black tongue should have went all the way up instead of switching over to white but it looks decent in my opinion maybe it would look a little bit better uh white tab with black nike uh logo on the tongue white insoles with a red uh nike logo on it on the inside black sock liner you know pretty dope pretty dope in my opinion on that but i think maybe if it was black all the way up on the tongue it would look just a little bit better in my opinion but it's still dope the red tab with the black nike on the back yeah i'm not a fan of that i think it could have been better as black but I'm making a shoe more black. I'm turning into a panda. <laughs> and you have the university red for the outsole as well. Here's a look at the outsole. Nothing crazy about that. Pretty simple, pretty basic. You know, you know what to expect from that. Now let's take a closer look at the details and not many details in this one, but you know. Like I said, the materials are pretty basic with this one. Smooth leather, leather, no tumble, no craziness going on. Just pretty smooth panels. Uh, regular black laces, no, no, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Here's a look at the back of the sneaker as well. The, the University Red is super is vibrant, especially on the outsole as opposed to what it is on the on the leather of the swoosh. But yeah, still it still is what it is. And uh, like I said, a basic one. Nothing crazy about this. Nothing premium about it. Just a basic overall dunk low. Now let's move on to the release information and price information, or release and price information. Let's go. Okay, so the, the release date for these is still to be determined. We don't know yet. Price should be around 110 bucks. You should be able to find them on Nike.com and select retailers. This is an early preview, so like I said, all the information isn't out yet. But like I said, sometime in 2023, you should be able to get these reverse pandas. So just keep your eyes open, and I'll let you guys know when I find out as well. So. Like I said, 110 bucks, the normal dunk uh, price, and Nike.com and other select retailers. I don't think these would be hard to get, so you know, keep your eyes open. And now let's get to the value or my speculated value. All right, so is this a pass, a rock, or a stock? I think definitely it's a rock. Don't think it's a pass. It is a decent looking uh, dunk low. I don't think it's a stash. I don't think these have any value to them. There's no collaboration. There's nothing, an OG colorway, nothing crazy about it. So I don't think you should put these away. I think you should buy them, put them right on your feet, and rock them. Let's go. And last but not least, we get to the recap and my final grade. So once again, the release date is to be determined or announced. We don't know yet. 110 bucks is, should be the price tag. And you should be able to find these on Nike.com, sneakers, and other select retailers. Like I said, it's a GS. It shouldn't be hard to find. But I'm going to give these things 6.5 out of 10. I like them, but they're not super special. It's a copy, in my opinion, especially if you can copy it at retail. I don't think it's going to go up too much in price. So 
Uh, 6.5 is good for this. Nice sneaker, nothing special, but I like it a lot. So uh, that's why I said 6.5. But that's all I got for you guys today on this one. Make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye. Oh.